I can hear it when I'm, when I'm on the shoreline in the still of night. I can hear the, the, the breath of a whale. Um, but in our culture, ha is the breath. And Hawaiians believe that ha is what gives us life. Here is this enormous and beautiful creature, the kohola, and it in its own life has the real resonance of breath. And it reminds me that as a Hawaiian person, when I hear that that blows out from the spout, it is also to reflect on me that it is a part of who we are and we share the same important cultural concept of life and it comes through the ha, the breath. One of our main missions is monitoring the population of humpback whales here in Hawaiian waters and really beyond. There are still threats out there. They've they've recovered. There, there's more whales now than there has been recently, but still there are the risks of ship strikes, entanglements, and other health issues and concerns. My favorite part is actually interacting with visitors that um, always stop at the site, want to know what, what, are we, what are we doing, just interacting with them, helping them be familiar with the whales that are in our waters. It's always a real exciting thing whenever they actually can see the whales. It's just really fun sharing that knowledge with the people that come. It's important to partner with uh, partners uh, like uh, Sanctuary because we can disseminate those messages and uh, the mission statements effectively and uh, share the educational content from the, those organizations and really help people understand the complexity and beauty of marine life. They've provided opportunities for people to learn more about the marine life near shore. Research, education, sanctuaries are models for that. It makes me feel great that people recognize the work that uh, we do and I, I created that work uh, not for myself but for everybody in the Hawaiian Island Humpback Whale Sanctuary. It takes a team to do the kind of work I do. One is just you want to be good stewards, everyone, and, and boy, the Humpback Whale Sanctuary leads uh, really a community effort, a stewardship. I mean here, if you scan this harbor, there's a lot of whale watch boats here. So there's the economy brings in, culture comes into it. Um, and just, again, the humpback whale sanctuary coordinates that effort. The health of humpback whales is an indicator of the health of the overall habitat. Can the breath of the whale help us to understand the breath of the culture and the people? Can the, the strength of that magnificent animal also remind us of the strength of a culture of people who have been here for nearly 2,000 years? And so somewhere in this is a, a journey and a voyage that I hope that will be closely uh, knit together so that they're inseparable in how we understand this place and in particular the Kohola and its uh, relationship and alignment to the people of Hawaii.